When he came out, I remember I saw him and then he turned blue, like from the minute they cut the cord. Um, the nurse noticed it first and he was having trouble breathing. Maureen Shugard had worried about her unborn baby for nine months. She was 38 years old, pregnant, and sick all the time. Doctors tried to assure Maureen and her husband Scott that all was well. But when Patrick entered the world on May 25, 2004, he was struggling to breathe. He was quickly transported to nearby Children's Hospital in Omaha. The cardiologist you know, said that you know, it was really at that point they really could not give him any more medication <clears throat> without becoming toxic to him, lethal. So if he got any worse at all, there was nothing they could do for him. Patrick had a rare case of myocarditis, an inflammation of the heart muscle. Scott and I were sitting in this little conference room with all these doctors and, and the chaplain who were telling us that we needed to make this decision pretty quickly. And it was either the bypass or the heart transplant. Scott and I just knew without even speaking, you know, he spoke to our hearts and said, you know, if you leave this with me, then it'll be all right. And so that's what we basically did. We said, we're going to give it up to God. The Shugarts denied the heart transplant, telling doctors they were waiting on God. That night, Maureen called the 700 Club prayer line. I watch the 700 Club a lot, and I have seen so many miracles on that show. And it just occurred to me that I should call them. <clears throat> so I called, and they prayed with me. About a day or so later, um, a doctor showed up with this research medication. And he said, I heard about your baby. Dr. Romero at Creighton University was conducting a blind study with an experimental drug, and Patrick fit the requirements to participate. Patrick wasn't guaranteed he'd receive the drug and not a placebo, but to the Shugarts, the possibility was a ray of hope. He got the first dose that night, and within a day or so, he started making a reversal. Even the doctors were shocked. I mean, he within a week was off all the medications. And that is really sort of unheard of. They woke him up and here was this strong screaming baby, you know, who's really fighting to live. And so I was so happy that God had answered my prayers. Patrick remained in the NICU for three weeks. At his six month checkup, there were no signs of the illness that nearly took his life. Today, he is a happy, healthy, and very active six year old boy. I love God because he saved you when you're sick. Just to, you know, see him and when you think back of, uh, of everything we went through, to really remember where he, where he was, how near death he was, and what a miracle he is. He's proof that you can stare death in the face and the message of the cross, that God can conquer everything, even death itself.